Well, hi there. Welcome back to the Silver Crown. I appreciate you coming by. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I really want to tell you thank you and welcome, and I hope you will subscribe. And next to the subscription button is a bell. And if you click on that bell, you will get a notification every time I upload a video. So I hope you will do that, and I hope you will share my channel with your friends, and that you'll keep coming back and leave your comments and your suggestions below, because I'm always open to comments and suggestions. And for those of you that have been hanging with me all this time, thank you so much. All this time, meaning about 15 months. Thank you for hanging with me that long and for all of your suggestions and tips. I am trying uh, the things that you guys are, are suggesting. Not everything, but some things I, I am doing. And I wanted to let you know that. So today I wanted to talk to you about the hairstyle that I have now, which is my twist out after wearing a wash and go for a while. And hang on there with me and I will let you know how I got this done. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, after trying wash and goes for almost a week, I just felt like um, even after re-wetting my hair um, every day, which is what I had to do because there was so much product, I, I just kind of got tired of it. I got tired of having to wet my hair every day. Uh, so I went ahead and washed it out, and I'm trying to get rid of some stuff that I had left over from when I had uh, a relaxer in my hair. So this is Dark and Lovely by Soft Sheen. Um, and it, you know, it's just their regular line. Oh dear. I don't know if you can see it. Anyhow, this isn't their all natural uh, line. It's just their regular line. And um, this is the shampoo and I use the conditioner. And it did make my hair feel a little stripped because I, it probably does have sulfates in it. But like I said, I'm trying to get rid of this. And I bought this and I think another bottle uh, and some more stuff from them before I transition, before I cut my hair off. So I still have this and I'm trying to get rid of it. Plus it's taking up room in my thing where I need, you know, we need room, right? <laughs> so anyway, so I washed my hair with that uh, and conditioned it and then... I gave it a good rinse, and then after that, I decided to try an oil treatment, which is not something I've done a lot of. I used to do a lot of it when I was in high school. I don't know where I got that information from, but in high school, I did that. I used to do hot oil treatments. Anyway, um, so I used this sweet almond oil, and uh, by Ura Casia as a hot oil treatment and I massaged it into my scalp and I forgot to rinse it out <laughs> but anyway I massaged it into my scalp and uh, ooh, that was that so when I got out of the shower I just sectioned my hair and um, and then I decided and I had a little spot on my scalp that felt a little bit itchy right in the top where I'm where I have low density anyway, it just felt a little sore and itchy and I didn't know why. So this was an oil mixture that I put together a little while ago and every now and then I refresh it with a peppermint or spearmint, maybe a drop of tea tree or something like that. But this is an olive oil base um, and everything that's in here is organic. Uh, so I just, and it's a squirt thing, it's kind of bent like this because I sat it in front of a heater once and it, well you know. That's what happened. <laughs> anyway, so I just put a squirt of this on top of the almond oil, and it kind of checked the uh, itchy and soreness. I don't know what was going on with that. I, I don't know. But anyhow, so after I did that, this is my Shea Butter Sweet Almond and Vitamin E oil mix that I made on February the 18th. Now, the reason that it's in this, it's in a sterilized jar, and I covered it in foil because... I know that light and uh, and all that can degrade your shea butter and your other butters, and so I didn't. I want to keep it as long as I can. The last two that I had made, I've only made two, and the last two that I made lasted me a good five to six months each jar. This texture is a little bit different, as I showed you this before. Um, I am really sorry about the light, but as I showed you this before, um, this has the texture of a creamy peanut butter. My other ones had the texture of, uh, 
of a whipped mousse or something like that. So um, this is heavier and I prefer it heavier because what I usually do is I take my little dish, my little heart shaped dish. I usually take out a teaspoon of that and I mix whatever other oils I want to put in it to put into my hair. So it causes it to uh, soften up and it becomes like mayonnaise. So, and I prefer that. So in, that, in this mixture, what I have in here is um, I have almond oil, uh, castor oil, and for fragrance, I used, and this is by uh, Nature's Bounty, and this is uh, patchouli essential oil. So that's what's in there. So after I uh, uh, sectioned my hair off, um, I did not put any leave-in conditioner. Um, I don't think I did. If I did, I don't remember what. I did. <laughs> I did. And what I used was Cantu leave-in. So, uh, but you know what? I didn't section my hair off in little tiny sections and all that because I wasn't doing a wash and go. So all I did was just took some in my hands and just rubbed it through my hair and did this deal here. And then, then I sectioned my hair off. And then I used Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have no idea why I did that. Did not need this because I already had the almond oil in my hair and I already had the shea butter in my hair and the Cantu leave-in had oil in it too so I was about a greasy mess when I got finished when I started braiding my hair the oil was oozing off my hands I thought oh my god so then I took paper towels and squoze my hair and blotted it and, and um, I think most of it ended up on my pillow so anyhow this is what I got from all that it's not as bad now um, just a little but <laughs> But not bad, but I don't like my hair being a greasy mess. And I think the reason that it came out like that is because I forgot to rinse that almond oil out when I gave myself that hot oil treatment. So uh, this is how it turned out. Um, I've had it out all day and it's it's okay. Um, here's the back. And I'm pretty okay with how it came out. Now, usually, I did not use any gel. Someone had asked me about that um, on a different forum. And no, I did not put any gel in my hair. I don't know if this Curl Enhancing Smoothie has any type of gel in it. It says anti-frizz, so it might. Uh, but it does have silk protein and neem oil. More oil. So I'm telling you, if you do a hot oil treatment, make sure you rinse it out uh, before you put these other products in that are oil-based or water base and then oils because you don't want to be a slippery greasy mess so that's what i did to achieve this look let me know what you think of it thank you for coming by leave your comments below um and if you want to know how to make this i can tell you how but you'll have to let me know that you want to know otherwise i'll just assume that you do know and i'll see you the next time you come by keep it natural